I didn't get to do any scrapping this morning. I got up too late. But I am gonna stop at this one where I know there's always cans. be a dead won't be a dead loss uh, Okay. You know, one of my subscribers is telling me this was a recycle bin, but it's not. It's got it on there. But as you can see, it's full of garbage. Plus, and that's what I'm after. Okay. Can't tarry long. My appointment's at 1040 and it is 940 right now. Of course it ain't far. It ain't far. Yeah, I overslept this morning. I need to been out there and at it at 6 o'clock. And I didn't wake up till 7. There's my lady friend that has the yard sale. I'm so glad I get to take stuff to her because that way I don't have to go. True stuff. You know what? These are pop-up tents for kids. I'll give that to my lady friend.
give that to my lady friend. What is that? Oh. That might work. Okay, I've got to get my butt to the VA. Jeez. I'm going to have to stop. You know what? She used to talk about me trashing up the car. And I want you to look, and I ain't been in this thing in a while. Okay, let's go to VA. Don't stop at nothing. Oh man, there's a bucket. I like them cat loader buckets. That's gone. I got to go. I should have started earlier. Well, here I am at the VA. Uh. Used to be a shopping center, but it failed. It failed. Sure like this over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that solved that puzzle. There you go. We got a camera there. Huh? Yeah. But then also, then also they. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Russell Pearson, five four eight five. Okay, sir, you can have a seat. You can. All right, thank you, dear.
I'm gonna take the socks off too. Uh, and then I will be right back, okay? Okay, no problem here. Anderson. Am I recording? Yep. Okay. If there any scrap value in me, them things would be nasty. Yeah, them would be. There's a can. Return to something in there. Dang, there's a camera. I'll take that and check it out. It, I return that's one of them. Uh, am I bumping my? Look on the other side. Bunch of star phone. I don't see nothing. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Can. Four K. Dragon touch. Action camera. Let me close my door. <laughs> Well, I'll check it when I get home. I got the room that I buy my lady friends.
Well, this is where I found that camera, and I'm still sitting here. Cars broke down, and I ha I don't know how to work my dad's gone telephone. Uh, and I had a FedEx man was stopped out here, and he got my daughter. So she's been called, and she said, well, it's a fuse. So I looked at the fuses, and I changed the fuse, and it still ain't starting. It's doing the same thing it did the other day when I when, when I was driving it. And I, I'm not driving this car no more till it's fixed. But now I'm sitting here, it's hot. Uh, wow. I mean, got my walker out there. I've been walking around. You know, I went to the back of Staples there and they got a bell that you want to push for, to get in the back. So, if you got merchandise or something and them suckers he come to that door he said well i'm not allowed to open this door i said well i'm disabled he said you got to walk around to the front i said it's about a quarter of a mile around front i can't walk around front well i can't open it so i told him have a good day and then the FedEx man helped me and the lady over there at Good Earth Foods that sells all that organic stuff brought me a bottle of, um, of water. This is that, um, gump skeeter spray. It's raining outside. This is what I found in that dumpster yesterday. Uh, behind Staples. Staples is an office supply thing. I have tucked the camera out to see if it would turn on and it wouldn't and I saw I, the chargers and all that everything's here the box is marked return um and there's some quick reference guide there's also a remote for this camera now this is like a GoPro but it's not as good as a GoPro but in some instances it is as good as a GoPro and it will let's see well there you go there it turned on um uh, it's on i can't take any pictures because it needs a micro sd card and i don't have an extra one i have one in my other camera but i have to format it to work in this but as you can see i can push like to take a picture and it'll come up you got to put a card in it but this camera, I'm going to turn it off. I don't want to run the battery down. There it goes. This camera is actually inside. Now, where a GoPro is waterproof without any case around it, this, this is not. And also... If you're recording with it in this case, I read the instructions there. If you're recording in this case, it can't record sound, which is kind of a disadvantage. So you take it out of the case, and this is it. Uh, it feels it feels good now this has an internal that doesn't have an internal battery this has uh uh two batteries for it 
it has a charger and let me see if I can find that other battery. Yeah, here's that other battery. You can charge both batteries at once. Um, so for all intents and purposes, it works. It has all of the uh, stuff with it. It has an extra back that you can put on this case and I'm not sure what the deal is but you can put that on there and it has two slots in it and I don't know why what the purpose would be unless maybe maybe it could mean you could leave it in this case and, and record sound uh, the only thing that I could find wrong with any of this is this this camera this case has a scratch right there and you just barely feel it um but it's off to the side it's not like out in the middle that's the only thing i can find wrong with this this cat this thing here i don't know and I've already downloaded a manual for this thing. I haven't had a chance to write, read over it yet. But it's got all the standard uh, action camera attachments. It has a couple of straps, and I don't know what these are for. This, uh, this thing, you know, I think I'm going to turn that camera on and see if it's let's see yeah you can take okay let me turn the camera back on all right there it is i'm gonna put my glasses on and i looked at the list price on these things they're $49 on, all right, if I want to do, take a photo, I'm going to push this and see what happens. Ah, it works. <laughs> it works. Push this one. It works. <laughs> How about that? And I've got a remote for this GoPro, but I can't figure out how to pair it up. This here, you don't have to pair it up. So for me, that's a better deal. I'm really anxious to see what kind of videos it takes. Let me begin. Then I, this doesn't have voice prompt or voice command. So, turn it off. Oh, what the heck happened here? Is it not? There it goes. Just from my first. Now, it also has a. You can mount this in. In this. Uh, thing here to uh you know use it like that without going in the case which this would screw to a tripod uh this would go to the youtube you can do that either way has some pads so you know <laughs> i was neat i was wishing i had a secret uh camera uh, to make it easier there's several things I need to be making better videos and this was one of the things um, I ain't figured out what this is for this has got a wide piece on here and I don't know what in the world you would pop well wait a minute 
No, that's that's not. I don't know what that's for. I don't know what that's for. I'm gonna look at the manual more and study it more, but gee. I'm glad I got this thing, but you know, I don't. I'm wondering. It has two doors, but these has got slots in it. But the speakers. I don't know. Actually, I don't even know how to. Take that out. Um, but I, if the videos are decent and the sound quality is decent, does this have a, yeah, it's got ports. Yeah, I guess you can charge a battery in this thing without taking it out. So what do you think, folks? Did I make a good... The only good thing about that yesterday is I broke down. Well, I didn't break down. That car's got something going on with it. Just for no reason at all, it will blow a fuse, and it's the fuse that enables you to start the car. You can turn the key on, and everything comes on the air blowers, uh, air lights, everything. But when you turn the key to start it, nothing, and it's not a dead battery. And I never felt so helpless. Uh, yesterday I'm gonna take this off and take my face with my hat off and I hope that didn't leave a fingerprint on there gee whiz look at my mug uh, look at my mug Anyway, I, I, I was coming home from the VA, I had my doctor's appointment, and I decided what the heck, I'm going to pull in there and buy the staples and look in their dumpster. I've heard that people find stuff in there, and, and I pulled up there, I left the car running. I went out and looked in the dumpster, and that's when I found this. And there was some other stuff in there, but it had printer cartridges and all that stuff, uh, toner. And I've learned the hard way, you don't mess with them darn things. It's, there's a little bit of stuff in there worth scrapping, but boy, is it nasty if that toner gets loose. So I didn't mess with them, and I think found one can. Well, I was happy. <laughs> boy, was I happy. I, it, uh, I got back to the car and my hearing is such that I don't hear the car running and so when I put it in gear to go, nothing. It was, the motor had died and what it is, the fuse blows. And my problem is I don't have the strength in my hands to pull them fuses out, plus I didn't know which fuse it was. And I couldn't, I've got this stupid phone. Have I got it in my pocket? No. Uh, that I, for the life of me, I can't figure that sucker out. I, I don't need, I, I, I hate a phone with all that stuff on it. I want a phone that I can pick up, put, push the button to make call and make the call and that's it. But this daggone thing here, you gotta push the screen, squeeze the current screen to bring it, bring up your pin number. Then you gotta put your pin in, and then all kind of other crap pops up on it. 
and I'm pushing all this different crap. I don't, and it won't do nothing for me. I couldn't figure out how to make a dang call. So it's hotter than blazes. I went to the back freight door of Staples and pushed their bell alarm thing to see if I could get somebody to make the call for me. And nobody come on the first push. Nobody come on the second push. The third push, somebody's on the other side door. I'm trying to get, I can't get the door open. They said, I, uh, you'll have to walk around to the front. I explained to them I was disabled and, you know, I needed some help. And that was it. They dropped it. They left me hanging. They didn't do nothing. So I went back out there, and then I tried to flag cars down to get somebody to help me. And uh, finally a, a FedEx truck pulled up there. And the driver uh, backed up to this business. He was going to load some packages Well, he unloaded them. I said, when you get a minute, could you help me do something? And he got the phone, and he went in there, and he found Jennifer's name and he got it to ring and give it back to me and I got my daughter and I told her what was going on and all that stuff and she said well maybe it's fused again you have to go in there and do blah 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 and I'm like I'll try but I, I don't know how to make calls on this phone I said I've told you and I've told Donovan I don't know how to do it Cause every time they start showing me, they grab the phone and they start pushing crap on there without me seeing exactly what they're doing. So that don't tell me nothing. And they just think it's crazy that I can't figure that phone out. They don't get it. They don't get it. Matter of fact, most people don't, or younger people don't get it. But. I went and finally a guy come along, a guy with his girl, a dumpster diver actually. And he pulled a fuse and put the new one in, but it still didn't work. And well, what happened, we pulled the wrong, what I thought was the right fuse was the wrong fuse. And uh, couldn't do it. My daughter called back, I answered, I said, it's not working not working well joey's gone joey's on a date and she said let me see if i can get a hold of him or get somebody to come over and get you and uh pretty soon about 20 minutes later joey come flying up and i mean he was kicking it and he said what did you do and i said to him well that's the wrong fuse so he exchanged that fuse back with the one that was in there and then took the right fuse and pulled the right one out and put the other one in and it started. And when it started, he jumped out, run to his car and took off. He didn't see if I was, you know, my walker was out. He didn't see any of that stuff and I was starting to get aggravated. And I was still aggravated when I got home and uh, he turns out Joey, Joey works night. So him, and he was on a date with this girl. <laughs> and, and that boy left that girl sitting at the restaurant till he got back, you know. And, and that's why he was in such a hurry. So I don't blame him. I, 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 boy, I hate that I interrupted his date. Um, <laughs> but now I know. But I told him, you need to get a pair of them tweezer things that you pull them fuses with because I can't pull them out with my fingers. I just can't. I've tried it and tried it and tried it and I can't. So anyway, that's the skinny on me breaking down. And I, I tell you, I really felt, really felt helpless out there. Uh, I couldn't walk nowhere. I was afraid to leave the car because it was sitting in the middle of the parking lot and it could get towed. 
I thought about the city buses run there, but that could only get me within about three quarters of a mile of my house. So, you know, I really felt helpless. It just, they got to get that fixed. Now, this, is, this is about the third time that's done that. I don't know. Take from now on, don't, I don't want to take that newer car. I'll take the old car. But I'm not going to drive unless I absolutely have to. I'm just, I don't want to do it. Matter of fact, I was wanting to get out today and I can't, can't do it because it's raining. And, well, anyway, that's skinny on what happened yesterday. It'll be on this video. And that's the skinny on this stuff. I'm really tickled. I hate that little scratches in there, but you know what? I ain't gonna worry about it. I don't think that'll hurt it much. But guys, some of you guys, would y'all start sharing some of my videos and stuff to see if that helped me with the with the um, new subscribers? I, I'm I'm really getting antsy. I want to get I want to get my thousand subs so I can get subbed and start earning a little bit of extra money to save towards me a golf cart. Uh, somebody told me to put a tip jar up there, but I I can't do that till I got a thousand subscribers. Uh, somebody said, well, maybe you ought to start selling uh, uh, junk dauber merchandise. Well. I'm pretty sure I can't do that till I got a thousand subscribers. Now, all I can do is keep making videos and hope people keep liking them and liking me. That makes me nervous though when people likes me. It makes me think, boy, I don't want to let nobody down. And uh, it's kind of like back when I had my businesses and. Especially that one business I had where I had 12 employees. And uh, I, I was constantly worried about not screwing anything up, and making sure I had enough business in there to take care of payroll and make my wife and myself some payroll. And uh, it worried me it constantly. And some, some weeks would come up, boy, I would have to struggle to make p payroll. Some some weeks I actually had to go to the bank and take out a 30 day note to uh, get enough money to pay make payroll the next day. And there, there was several times I had to do that. But you had to pay that note back off in 30 days or there was huge penalties. But I, I worried about the payroll. I, 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 you know, I'm, it made me feel good that those people were earning a living and, and, and they were keeping a roof over their head and their families fed and stuff like that. It made me feel good. But boy, it it's really gave me a sinking feeling sometimes when things were coming up short or... Because a lot of my... A lot of the merch... A lot of the furniture and the, and the van seats and van sofas and stuff for those luxury vans a lot of the people that bought them for me were van converters and they bought their seats and stuff for me to put in the vans they were converting and they was on uh, uh, net, uh, net net tent or I'm sorry uh uh, what was it? Five percent, five percent off net if they paid within ten days. If it went thirty days, uh, it was net. They had to pay the net. And sometimes them suckers, boy, they'd they'd forget to send you a check. And uh, and then sometimes you got stuck with bills. A lot of them you had to give them, extend them a credit line. And when they didn't pay me, boys, that meant I couldn't pay my help without getting some other kind of money in to do it. 
Uh, in hindsight, I would never, ever start my own business. I would get me a good <clears throat> paying job somewhere, which I could have, and and I did do it, but I, uh, I went right back to my business and didn't take care of it, you know, I didn't. But yeah, that's that's a bad feeling. You got people depending on you. And I kind of feel like this with the the uh, YouTube. I don't want to let nobody down, and I got people telling me they like me and how much they like me and all that stuff. And boy, I hope I can keep them liking me. Uh, <laughs> oh well, all I can do is keep going. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, one other thing I want to say about this camera so far, since I haven't got the card to put in there to take a video or so, but if the video's okay and the sound's okay, uh, I'm probably going to wind up using this more than I do the GoPro. Now, that GoPro was a little over $200. This if I had to buy it, it would have been 49 But, and I, and the fact that I've got a remote that will work will make it much easier for me. Um, I'm going to give this sucker a thumbs up. The, the camera itself don't feel quite as rugged as the GoPro. And... The GoPro is in its own sealed case. You know, it's waterproof. This one is not. You have to put it in this case here to make it work in water. And I don't, I don't have any intentions of doing any water stuff. I just don't. I don't. That don't interest me. But I'm giving this thing a thumbs up, really. Really, it's just 49 bucks. And if it does the same thing the GoPro does, and it says 4K ultra high definition, and it's a Vision 3 Dragon Touch, so and the fact that I got that that uh, remote, boy, that means a lot to me. I got a remote with this GoPro, but I, I'm going to have to take it somewhere, somewhere somebody knows what they're doing. If you got to pair it up something, you got to punch stuff on each one. It's a smart remote. So, anyway, see you in the next video. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>